Yes, it is time to put you in the mix. Now, the 96th Academy Awards, yes, the Oscars, took place last night right here on WKRN, so let's spill some tea. A quick recap includes Oppenheimer came in as the heavy favorite, and it delivered, taking home seven Oscars, including Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, Best Director, and Best Picture. Best Actor Killian Murphy, who played the man who built the atomic bomb, bomb dedicated his acceptance speech to peacemakers everywhere. Robert Downey Jr. also feeling the Oscar love in supporting actor, his very first Oscar win ever. Crazy, right? Emma Stone was named Best Actress for her role in Poor Things. Also of note, her dress broke just ahead of her speech, and she say it may have happened when she was dancing during I'm Just Ken. Speaking of which, on the performance side, Ryan Gosling bringing his Barbie colleagues for a mid-century celebration of pure Kennergy. He absolutely crushed it when he took the stage, cowboy style in pink, and performed the iconic song. So Billie Eilish also made history for her Barbie win when she won her second career Oscar for her song, What I Was Made For, making her the youngest person ever to win two Oscars at age 20, 20, or age 22. How cool is that? And all the chatter seems to be about John Cena and presenting the award for best costume totally naked. Uh, the joke seemed to have fallen flat to some people. I thought it was kind of funny, but hey, A for effort. Uh, Fashion-wise, the looks that seemed to have us all talking were from Ariana Grande and Cynthia from Wicked. Perfect pink and green dresses. They absolutely nailed it and look fabulous. Also on the red carpet, Vanessa Hudgens revealed that she's pregnant, so that was an exciting way to kick off the evening, as always. Uh, we uh, always got to congratulate all the winners and nominees from our friends right here on Local on 2. Yes. You know? Oh, my gosh. What a fun night it was. I, I was conflicted on Ariana Grande's dress. Okay. I saw a meme that said something like, um, you know, grabbing my pink comforter. Because right. it, it kind of looked like a big blanket. Yeah. She looked comfy in it, you know? <laughs> and she's beautiful, don't get totally, me wrong. Totally. And everybody really looked wonderful. Yeah. One that hasn't gotten a lot, I, sure. I wrote them down. I wrote okay. my notes. Yep. Zendaya. We, yep. it, we, you have to go look her dress up. It was beautiful. Yeah. That was one that I feel like I didn't hear much totally about. Totally unique. But gorgeous. She's a superstar and has been for so long. So it was cool to see her rock the red carpet. Like, yes. As a grown woman. Like, I know, just crushing that's it. That's true. We've seen yeah. her grow. Also, the John Cena bit, I thought it was pretty funny. I, yeah. I, I thought it was a fake body at first. He is okay. so Oh, he's shredded. <laughs> he's a perfect looking dude. Like, I would probably find excuses to go naked on stage if I look like that, too. <laughs> so I can't be mad at that at all. I almost thought it was one of those. Have you seen those big shirts that, that oh, are yeah. made to look like a bathing suit? Like, it's funny. It's <laughs> totally. silly. I thought, I almost thought it was a fake. Because yeah. he is so ripped. And just a fun, creative way to promote best costume. Of course. Like, of course. obviously. Hey, he's got guts. That's for sure. Yeah, no oh doubt. Yeah, I thought it was a great show overall. You, did, did you enjoy too. it? Okay. Yeah, I thought Jimmy Kimmel did a really good job. Yep. I think that it was paced really well. I um, yeah, I can't believe that Robert Downey Jr. That was his first. I had no idea. Oscar. I, I would have thought that there had been more. I love him. I'm a big fan of him, and I know he's had his challenges, but he's overcame them and is very open about that and helping others. Yeah. And now he's like. I, you know, still revi or still, you know, receiving the fruits of his labor right. and his hard work. So I think it's great. I think it's great when people evolve and make comebacks. And yeah, who would have thought his first Oscar? So congrats to him and everybody else. You and know? There, there was another trend on the red carpet last night that I'm not so sure what I think about it. This was Florence Pugh and Emily Blunt. Now they okay. both wore dresses, gorgeous, yep. but it looked like the shoulder straps are like. Are, it doesn't look right like to me. Like spikes or like they're no, not buckled down? No, it almost looked like a malfunction. It like lifts up. Yeah. I, I don't know what I thought about that. And Emily Blunt's dress, and she looked gorgeous. Yes, I mean, she yes, is beautiful. Great. But see how the, the straps kind of sit upwards? It's almost like a robotic machine Maybe it's thing. a new thing. I mean, if more than one person did it, like. <laughs> That's true. Right, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I I'm, I'm with you. I can go either way. I can see where you're like, wait a minute, did somebody forget to strap down her straps? Yeah, you what know? did you think of the men dressing? I think the everybody looks outfits. sharp. I, I do mean, too. it's like, and it's, you know, I, I think everybody nails it with the classic legendary looks, but taking a few risks here and there with kind of the details, but still honoring kind of the, you know, the history and the historic, yeah. like, men's fashion, which I yeah. enjoy. So. Yeah, I like that people still get dressed up. Yeah, for it. no doubt. It's a nice Absolutely. Night. Good deal. All right, thank you so much. Well, it's time to catch up on the latest headlines. Mark Kelly is here in studio to share what stories news 2 is focusing on starting at 3 o'clock. All right, Larissa